Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. So this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. And this is an energy of there being a spark in a situation. So I am seeing here somebody feels the spark intensely and they are going after it. They are pursuing this. They are um, showing up as very passionate and ready to start something with you. Uh, this person is a very fun and adventurous person and they may also see you as a source of joy and pleasure and um, I do see them pursuing you this is someone who goes after what they want this is someone who is a bit of a free spirit they like to go where the fun is and they just like to have a good time um, I do see this person really following um, pleasure so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Aries okay so the first card we have here is the ace of swords so this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Next, we have the Nine of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. And finally, we have the Wheel, Fixed Sign Energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio Energy. Okay, so I am seeing here that somebody is ready here to um, start something with you. They want to have a victory with you. With this Knight of Wands energy, I do see that this person, um, this is somebody that you um, you may already have a history with of some sort. This is someone who has a tendency to come in and out of your life. They can, this is someone who really just follows their joy, their bliss. And so um, as free spirited as they are, they may not always stick around. This is someone who they can be here today and gone tomorrow. But when they are here, they are such a great time, a very adventurous and fun person. But I do see that they don't have a lot of staying power. There is a very free-spirited energy and non-committal energy about this person. But I do see this person having some good... Um, very passionate times with you and with the ace of swords um also good conversations so this is a person who you may enjoy their company and they may enjoy your company too and i do see with the ace of swords there is um a, an honest conversation here being initiated uh, this could be you initiating this conversation because this is a very blunt uh conversation and with that nine of wands it is also a card speaking about putting up boundaries. So you could be really asserting yourself and placing, putting boundaries in place with this person. Um, because I do see that there is a little bit of a careless energy um, where this person can come in and out of your life. So I do see you standing up for yourself with that nine of wands and um, really wanting to announce your boundaries, assessing the situation. And um, this person, they really want a victory with you. They they want to have a successful, um, you know, some sort of, they want to have a good time with you, but they also want to, um, you know, be seen in a positive light in your eyes. So I do see with this wheel energy, there is a major turn here. There is, um, there is a sense of you, um, you know, not tolerating what you may have tolerated before. Um, there is a sense of, you know, things working out in your favor here and you being the one on top, you being the one who sets the rules, you being the one who, um, you know, decides how this is going to go. So I do see you uh, showing up in a very dominant position here and also really um, setting the record straight with this person, very honest, direct energy. So let's clarify these cards, 
Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands in the reverse. So this is fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And this is an energy of um, making peace, um, you know, trying to avoid conflict. I, I am seeing a very peaceful resolution in the situation. There is a sense of this person respecting your boundaries. This person is going to hear you out. This person, um, they, I am seeing them being very agreeable with you. This is something that is not going to break out into conflict. And um, also with this five of uh, wands energy, this can also show comp competition. And with it being in the reverse, I am seeing an ending to that, um, an ending to competition in some way. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Aries. Okay, so the first card we have is the Ace of Swords again. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Next we have the Seven of Pentacles. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. And finally, we have the Empress, Venus energy, Taurus, Libra energy. Okay, so I am seeing here, this person is very um, much seeing you in a positive light. They are seeing you as someone who is, you know, much higher than them with this Empress energy. They see you as someone who is very deserving of respect. And um, I am seeing them taking the measures to show you that they respect you. So this person is going out of their way to prove to you that, um, you know, that they value you and that they see you as this Empress energy. I am seeing them doing something quite grand to show you this. Um, they, they do want to, um, you know, have a victory with you and to um, have a connection with you. This person does feel very intensely towards you. Um, with that seven of pentacles though, there is a sense of you having some doubts about this person. Um, you looking at how much you've invested in this and, um, you know, what's the return. Um, you know, there is a sense of you wondering if it's it's worth it. And with that nine of wands, you are definitely standing up for yourself and, um, you know, you're just showing up as very strong and this person is uh, really admiring you. So this person knows that you are the Empress and they may even feel like they are a little bit um, less than you. Um, they may feel, you know, a bit um, like they're not good enough for you with this energy and they do see you as someone who, um, you know, who is very nurturing, somebody who knows their worth. And they are seeing you in this light. Um, so I do see things working out in your favor in this situation. So whatever it is that you want in this situation, there is a sense of you getting what you want with this wheel and this Empress energy. You're finally getting whatever you want. So the outcome that you desire is the outcome that you will get in this situation. And I am seeing a major victory with this Ace of Swords showing up here twice. Okay, so Aries, I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you. Okay, so the card says communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Okay, so with the Ace of Swords showing up twice here and this communication is key energy, I am seeing a very um, important discussion taking place here and it is resulting in you coming out as the Empress. You are the one who is being favored in the situation and you're getting what you want. So I do see this, per this person conforming to your ideals and um, it stems from some sort of communication that takes place between you. So speaking up, voicing your feelings, your thoughts, your opinions in this case will really serve you because I do see um, you are highly favored right now. The wheel is on your side and you are the one coming out here as this empress. 
Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Aries. Okay, so the card says Primrose, Youthful Love. If I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. Okay, so I do see this as this Knight of Wands person. They There is a very um, youthful energy, a very free-spirited energy about the way that they love. And I do see an intense type of energy. This person, when they um, are interested in something, they go for it. They pursue it. They, um, you know, I do see them feeling... Uh, you know a very a burning desire type of energy towards you there is that fiery energy on their side and um i do see them thinking a lot about you with this ace of swords showing up this is very mental energy so there will be a lot of communication a lot of talk and also i do see them thinking a lot about you there is a sense that they cannot get you off their mind so even if this is someone who you knew before um, this is a sense of them always coming back so even if they leave they always come back to you because they think a lot about you and um, I do see them recognizing your worth your value seeing you as an empress and um, really willing to do whatever you want them to do there is a very um, you know they 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 feel very much in love with this um, Knight of Wands energy and there is a sense that they will do um, whatever that you want because they see you as this empress, um, someone who is deserving of only the best and they are also seeing you as someone who is very high, someone who's on a pedestal. So they do have a lot of respect for you and they do see your value and your worth. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day Aries. Bye Aries.